Using classic quizzes, I've set it up where there's a two minute time limit. And right now when I go to moderate the quiz, you can see that no one has started the quiz. What I'm going to do is before I begin the quiz, I'm gonna give this student, Melissa, um, an, extra, um, an extra amount of time, so five minutes and I'm gonna say save. So now Melissa gets an extra five minutes. So it was two minutes was the original plus the five. Now I'm gonna go over to my student. And as a student, I'm gonna go into the extra time before start quiz. And you'll notice that it says seven minutes. So it does not notify the student that they're getting extra time but they are because the quiz you set was only for two minutes and you gave the student five extra minutes. So it's not apparent to the student that they're getting extra time, but they actually indeed are. So when the student goes to take the quiz, you will see that they have um, seven minutes in order to take this. When the student finishes the test, they still see that they had seven minutes, so two minutes for the original plus the five, but again, the student does not know that that really is additional time. They could think that that's just the same amount of time that every student gets. The two minutes here is just how long it took before I ended the test or submitted the test as a student. Now on the teacher end, I can see that the student finished in two minutes and again that the student was given five extra minutes on each attempt. For this quiz using classic quizzes, I am going to give the student extra time after the student has already started the test. So for example, you can see that the time limit for this test is two minutes. I'm gonna go into moderate the quiz. As of right now, no one has started the quiz. I'm gonna go over to my student and the student is going to take the quiz or get started on the quiz. And you can see that they have one minute and 56 seconds. They started with a two minute um, time. So I'm gonna to go to add more time to this student. So I have to first click on the pencil and give extra time. It says on every attempt. And then I'm gonna press save. This, however, does not give the student extra time. When they look over here, they still have a minute and 30 seconds, so it did not give them extra time. This is just saying on each attempt, they get five times, but since they've started this attempt, we need to now actually give it to this attempt in progress. So this blue clock is key. You need to click on that clock, and you are gonna choose how much time you wanna give to the student. So if I say five minutes, it's gonna say five minutes from now. So started at 7.20, ending at 7.22. If I give them five minutes from now, that would be from 7.21. I wanna do it from the current end time. So five minutes plus the 7.22, not five minutes plus what time it is, 7.21 now. So I say extend time. And you can see that the student gets a notification that they've been given extra time on this attempt. And you can see the additional five minutes has been added. And so students will only see that when you give them this, um, when you click on this blue clock. If you just do the pencil and you don't do the blue clock, students do not get extra time on this attempt. They only get extra time if you let them retake the test. So whenever you want to give students extra time while you are already, while they're already taking the test, you have to activate extra time by clicking on the pencil and giving them the extra time here. And then you need to click on the clock to give them the actual time or extra time that they need, the extension. When the student is done with the test, I'm gonna submit the test. And it shows here that the student had a seven minute time limit. So they had the two minutes and that's what the test started at is two minutes, but then they were given five extra minutes in the process of the test. And again, it only took me about two minutes to go through this process. So that's what this two minutes looks like. And here's the view on the teacher end. So I can see that the student was given five extra minutes, yet they finished in two minutes.
Canvas has some instructions about how to give students extra time. The one key thing to note is that if you have an available until date, so if you set the available until date, even if you give extra time, if that date and time that it is available to happens to come first, once that until date hits, the quiz is automatically submitted. So if you have a quiz that you set until 3.10 p.m. as the until date, and it's 3.05 right now, and you give a student 10 extra minutes, so the student would be done at, let's say, 3.15. Once 3.10 hits, even though you gave the student until extra time until 3.15, at 3.10, the until date and time, it's going to auto-submit the student's work. So I recommend not setting an until date because it can give you some major headaches. Um, I'm going to put the link to this page into the YouTube um, notes for this video.